Here's how you adjust your ELN 60-48D driver. Uh, we started by attaching a standard two-prong plug. Uh, the brown wire goes on the smaller terminal and the uh, blue wire goes on the larger terminal. Then we hooked up a Radio Shack inner cell. This is a uh, 1.5 to 12 volt DC AC to DC power adapter. We marked the negative side here with some black tape and that goes to the white wire and the positive goes to the blue wire. Right now we have it adjusted for 9 volts. To start off we're going to change that and we're going to slide it down and we're going to start our project at the lowest setting at 1.5 volts. This driver is rated for up to 10 volts so do not put it on the 12 volt setting. Next we'll open up our driver and attach the ammeter. Alright, we now have everything plugged in. Now we have the driver and inner cell. Uh, the inner cell is providing 1.5 volts DC current to the driver, the positive to the blue, the negative to the white, goes into the driver that turns it on. At 1.5 volts, this driver is producing anywhere between uh, 20 and uh, 30 milliamps. Basically, the power comes out of the driver through the red power cord from the uh, ammeter, goes into the 10 amp port of the ammeter, gets measured, then comes out the common, and then gets attached to the red or positive side of the LED. The current then goes through each LED string, positive, negative, and series, to the next LED string, back out, through the negative, the negative gets connected to the black wire. So here we have everything set up ready to be adjusted. We started with the screw full counterclockwise. Uh, you want to be careful, this potentiometer um, is very uh, fragile, so you don't want to over torque it. Just gently uh, dial it down full counterclockwise. Once when it's dialed down full counterclockwise, you could add your voltage. We recommend you set it for 9 volts. In this case, that gives us uh, 300 milliamps at full power. Once we have it at uh, 9 volts, we want to dial this up to 700 milliamps. So we take our potentiometer and we slowly dial it up to 750 milliamps. Here we've got close enough for government work. This is 0.77 or 770 milliamps at 9 volts DC. And that's how we adjust our driver. And now for a review. We have our Sperry DM4100 alpha meter. We have the positive uh, terminal to the 10 amp. We have the negative to the common. The positive 10 amp is connected to the positive output of the driver. The common is connected to the positive input to the LEDs. What happens is the energy from the driver goes through the meter gets measured on the 10 amp function out here and then goes to your LEDs. The negative from the LEDs is now connected to the negative portion of the driver. The negative terminal from our Radio Shack inner cell is connected to the white terminal of the driver. The positive from the inner cell is now connected to the blue terminal of the driver. The internal potentiometer of the driver is now dialed all the way down counterclockwise. We're now ready to begin.